I'm Peter Mullins. I'm uh, Chairman of Royal Road Resources, listed on the TSX, RYR. We were exploring in Turkey for poly, uh, for epithermals, porphyries. We just moved to Colombia looking for high-grade gold. And uh, what, what, why Colombia? Um, what's had a huge history of mining there with very little modern exploration. Had the first wave of exploration during the last decade where there was kind of the chimpanzee zoo, but everybody running everywhere and then settled down. And we always find these uh, second waves. We went to Argentina in 2002 and uh, find the second wave often is, is uh, more fundamental and there's things already found and things are a little bit easier and you can do deals. And you know, at the end of the day, there's an awful lot of gold in Colombia. And tell us a bit about your project. Um, we have a high grade project in the south of Colombia. Golondrinus is the name. It has a small scale mine on it now with uh, small scale miners. They're doing 20, 30 tonnes a day. It has very high grades, up plus an ounce per tonne. We're looking at underground. We're hopeful to explore, expand the area. Um, to us, it's very similar to Tanami Desert in Australia, only 30 years ago, and the Tanami Desert's produced about 10 million ounces since then. Ah, and uh, what about what about before? What have you done previously to Raw Road? Well, I've been involved in a number of companies. One was Aqualine Resources in Argentina. We had the uh, Navidad project, which is a large silver project. I was involved with uranium with laramide. More recently with Lydian, Armenia, we had forming an ounce discovery. I was involved with Tim Coughlin, who's the chairman of Royal Road, on that discovery. Tim made the discovery, I didn't. Um, I'm just more on the, on, on the uh, management side, and uh, I don't hit too many rocks these days. And you've just come into Royal Road on the, on the TSX. It's an interesting time to... Uh to be listing? A uh, very tough time and it's very challenging but you know all the money to me is made at the bottom of the market. Um, you know, smart people buying now, Rick Rule, Ross Beattie, these types of guys, Lucas Lundin and uh, yeah I, I see it as a positive time. I, we went through the last cycle, down cycle 98 to 2002 and good time to be buying looking for projects. And you've moved to Jersey from Australia? I moved to Jersey from Australia. How, how do you find that? Uh, very relaxing, yeah, yeah probably too relaxing <laughs> at times. Um, it gets a little bit frustrating trying to get things done, but you know, I've got a young family. I had a, I'm on my second marriage with an 11-year-old and a 6-year-old, and it's great for kids. And you know, The main thing for me is the kids are well and my wife's safe. And uh, I travel a fair bit still. You know, okay. I do 100 days away a year, so it's, right. you know, family comes first. And so tell us about your, your experiences with Portable XRX. Well, it's interesting. I met Marcus about uh, eight or nine years ago and always promised to buy a couple and never ever did. But, uh, in the, last, in the last two years, I've been involved with, with uh, Royal Road in Turkey and with Tim Coughlin, and he, he really introduced me to it, and he swears by it, and it really cuts down on expiration time and gives us confidence. I don't personally use it. I mean, I'm more on the senior side, but it gives us more confidence in what the guys are doing, and it certainly saves a lot of costs. And any sort of cost saving in this market, I'm all for. And it, it really helps the geologists too. It helps them recognise rocks because they can look at things like potassium, helps them with alteration. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan now. I was... Uh, Took Marcus a long time to sell me one, but uh, I'm a big fan now. Subsequently, we've bought another, and uh, hopefully, if, as the market rises, we'll get we'll get more involved in it. So you'd be happy to recommend Portable XRFs and Marcus to uh, anyone? Well, I don't know about Marcus, but certainly uh, Portable XRFs. <laughs> a big help, in, you know, you got to move with the technology and anything that saves costs and saves time is a big, big added advantage to us. Brilliant, Pete. Nice to talk to you. Okay, it's a pleasure.